we adhere to laws, um, we expect uh, the law holders, the people who uh, should be defending us uh, to adhere to the oaths that they've also taken uh, to not discriminate. All of the people in here are humans, every single one of them. They have their choice. It's not a leper colony. The majority of the people in this room are vaccinated and also fighting for our beliefs. We will continue to do so as well. That's it. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on. He's one of the one of the most one of the most generous uh, and kind people that I've run into, and of course I've run into a lot of kind people uh, who have been trampled on by the government over the last five years. But Jesse is one of the uh, most true and sincere people that I've ever met. Uh, he has nothing but a, a great love for this city and its people in his heart, uh, and really the guy just wanted to serve people great food, and uh, he was prevented uh, from doing that uh, in a draconian. Uh, an unlawful manner. For Rebel News, Sydney Fizard. Jesse Johnston, the owner of Without Papers Pizza, saw his business taken from him by the government during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the fall of 2021, his operating licenses were stripped off his restaurant's wall after former mayor of Calgary, Nahid Nenshi, introduced the vaccine passport bylaw, forcing restaurants to demand proof of vaccination from all of their patrons. Those people at those anti-mask protests, let's not kid ourselves, they're not people who need to eat. They are people who are marching in thinly veiled white nationalist supremacist anti-government protests and they don't deserve that kind of sympathy. <laughs> and what happens if you've got a mixed family? What happens if your father-in-law doesn't have his vaccine but everyone else is coming over for Thanksgiving? It's a mess. And as much as I don't want to encourage people to quote unquote snitch on their neighbors, everything we're doing is about looking after others in the community. So yeah, if there's a wild party next door, call 311. We always start with education. We don't like writing tickets. We start with the talk, not the ticket book. The time for education is long over and it is time for serious enforcement. Because of my defiance, I lost a business. Um, that supported two families, employed 30 people, and defined my very life. I loved it. I loved it so much. Why are we all here? I opposed a bylaw that was discriminatory, promoted segregation, was against the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Bill of Rights, and was also just against plain, decent, human, goddamn decency. Even though it was illegal for anyone in Calgary not fully up to date with their COVID shots to dine at a restaurant, these weren't orders Jesse could simply comply with. He refused to discriminate on such arbitrary grounds and be prevented the ability to treat people as equals in his own restaurant. The weight of discriminating against his fellow Canadians led him to close his doors soon after and proceed to now exclusively provide pizza free of charge just outside his restaurant doors. But quickly, the free pizza giveaway turned into something much greater, and hundreds, if not thousands, of supporters attended the sidewalk and parking lot near Without Papers Pizza. These are the papers that my father was forced to carry during the Second World War. You couldn't be outside the camp without these papers. So I absolutely refuse as a Japanese Canadian to show my papers. In many ways, the political rhetoric and enforcement had taken a toll on mental health across the nation, and Calgary was no exception. For those who had been denied access to such activities like simply eating at a restaurant, this was a desperately needed reprieve, providing conversations and openness. After continually sending free pizza to those who gathered or passed along the sidewalk and having authorities seize benches and milk crates without papers, pizza was officially shut down. In the cover of night later, police evicted Jesse and his remaining staff from the restaurant. Protests continued for months on end through the winter and into early 2022, at times even occurring daily. Jesse fought loudly to have the city of Calgary rescind the vaccine passport bylaw and in total suffered multiple tickets amounting to over $10,000, multiple warrants for his arrest. He was stripped of his business license for violating the vaccine passport bylaw and consequently stripped of his liquor licenses and food handling permits. 
and the dream restaurant he built for years on end. I showed up to get my disclosure, which I'm legally entitled to, uh, and to uh, uh, make my plea. Uh, they informed me that court was closed. Uh, I asked them, uh, what do I do now? Uh, they provided me a form uh, that uh, allowed me to go pay parking tickets online, uh, which uh, obviously didn't serve my needs whatsoever. Uh, and subsequently, there was nine warrants issued for my arrest. Recently, the Democracy Fund, a civil liberties charity aimed at fighting for constitutional rights of Canadians, retained Williamson Law to defend without papers pizza of these charges. Chad Williamson of Williamson Law joined us to discuss this case, which is expected to see trial in November this year. So we're talking about without papers pizza, um, who most people who live in Calgary are totally familiar with. I actually heard about without papers uh, long before COVID, long before these constitutional actions. One of my buddies went there for pizza and just said, hey man, have you tried uh, without papers pizza yet? And I thought it was kind of a cool name. Obviously there's some political and constitutional significance to the name without papers. I don't know if I have to break that down for you, but uh, very cool name uh, and amazing pizza. And I said, no, you know, I haven't been there yet. I was trying to make reservations. Then, of course, uh, COVID, uh, COVID happened. So here we are and uh, we're dealing with a whole bunch of regulatory tickets for without papers, enforcing uh, the, 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 the bylaw requiring uh, Calgary businesses to check people's papers. So he was shut down over the vaccine passport bylaw, which required that they ask uh, uh, patrons of the restaurant uh, to show proof of their vaccination status. What were the uh, the charges that came forward after this? So there's about roughly around 10 charges, but they stem from the same three alleged infractions, right? So uh, the first and foremost being some of the charges relating to uh, an alleged failure to uh, have people show their vaccination status uh, upon entry to the restaurant when they're going for pizza. Um, it was my understanding that the bylaw services then revoked the business license. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a copy of the letter. Well, your license has been suspended, all right? So it's up to you guys, there's a course of action if you don't comply with that, all right? Uh, whether that was lawful or not, I suppose we'll see. But then they uh, got a couple of uh, bylaw charges for failing to display a business license and operating without a business license. So that's kind of the crux of it. Uh, but really, this 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 fundamentally stems from without papers, uh, allegedly refusing to ask for people's papers. What has this kind of protest evolved into? Uh, it's basically turned into a, a place of support. Uh, these people come to us because they need a little bit of salvation. Uh, they're very worried. They're scared. They're going to lose their houses. Their neighbors hate them. Uh, their family don't invite them over for Christmas dinner. Uh, and uh, they're really, really, really worried. Uh, and they need some support. I was actually going to ask you about that. It is a common theme where people are t talking about how their family members are telling them to get the vaccine in order to come for Christmas dinner. Have you heard a lot of those stories? And what, what's your take on that? Uh, I've heard a lot of those stories, yes. Uh, I think it's grotesque uh, that uh, you dare ask your family member to do something that they don't want to do uh, in order to come over for Christmas dinner. Uh, you should accept them as they were exactly three months ago, uh, the same as you. What would be the, the court dates we're looking at here? So we did have a trial that was booked much earlier, uh, and it was supposed to be this July. We have since uh, requested that it be adjourned. We've just got brought on as a council, again, through the generous uh, uh, donations for civil liberties charities to assist us with our work. We've now moved the trial to November 15th. However, um, upon review of the disclosure, which is, of course, all the information and the evidence that the uh, prosecution is relying on to try to pin uh, this stuff on without papers. Uh, and like many of our other fight the fines cases, restaurant cases, we feel that the disclosure is, uh, is lacking. So we have now requested and made a formal request for additional disclosure and fulsome disclosure, which our client is entitled to. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they provide. Uh, we do have a trial set for uh, November 15th. Whether it will proceed on that date, I suppose, depends on how some of these preliminary uh, interlocutory proceedings uh, move ahead. The only thing that I want to say is, you know, we live in a democracy where you don't have to show people your papers. And we have a restaurant called Without Papers that is being charged for allegedly refusing to check people's papers. Um, this is the madness that our society has come to over the last couple of years. 
Uh, and again, I'm just so grateful that we are the tip of the spear uh, assisting uh, Democracy Fund and the number of other uh, wonderful organizations that are helping to challenge these unlawful uh, mandates and, and with some success, I might add. So uh, wish us luck. I mean, his restaurant has been taken. Is he gonna be getting that back? Well, so there's no amends. This is not a civil proceeding. This is, they are pressing charges um, and they're regulatory. So they're bylaw charges. They're sort of like a ticket. Uh, but as we've seen over uh, the fight, the fines and the COVID uh, cases, uh, some of these tickets can be quite large. Um, so uh, in many cases, uh, the sanctions brought down by a ticket can be the difference between, you know, survival and 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 otherwise. So uh, it's important on principle that this bylaw be challenged, uh, that these charges be defended, um, and that uh, that Jesse gets some vindication because he's just uh, he's one of the one of the most one of the most generous uh, and kind people that I've run into. And of course, I've run into a lot of kind people uh, who have been trampled on by the government over the last five years. But Jesse is one of the uh, most true and sincere people that I've ever met. Uh, he has nothing but a, a great love for this city and its people in his heart. Uh, and really, the guy just wanted to serve people great food. And uh, he was prevented uh, from doing that uh, in a draconian uh, and unlawful manner. Animals are treated better right now in Canada than humans. You know that? This man, the owner of this pizzeria, this restaurant, that has been shut down by the totalitarian tyrants. He did nothing wrong. This has nothing to do with science. This has nothing to do with medical expertise. This has nothing to do with what we are really facing. This is politics. And based on politics or party line, if you will, they are shutting down businesses and telling you and me, you obey. We don't have to. We've proven that we are not going to obey but you have to or else. So I decided to do or else, come here and, and support the business owners, support the people, uh, because if we don't do it, who is going to do it? If we don't stand up and fight for ourselves, if you will not stand up and fight for yourself, no one else will. Calgary's vaccine passport bylaw was rescinded on February 8th, 2022, five months after its introduction, but the damage done to Without Papers Pizza remains to this day. If you wanna help his legal fight, Donate to the Democracy Fund at thedemocracyfund.ca. For Rebel News, Sydney Fizard. Don't forget, if you want to help the thousands of individuals the Democracy Fund has been fighting for and we've been reporting on here at Rebel News, go to fightthefines.com, aimed at fighting the tickets and charges that many received during the COVID lockdown pandemic.